Okay, this is a 722.9 um, conductor plate. The computer is made on to this transmit uh, this conductor plate here. You can see here where it say NAG2 right there. <clears throat> well, the problem is this car has only 17,000 miles on it. It was in an accident. They had the framework done. Somebody took the transmission out and they messed up the, the, the pin in there. And they got a price of over a thousand dollars to fix this. It has a computer and then it has to be programmed. So you can see that pin is broken right there. right on the inside right here let's see Where are we? right there it's broken and the computer is offline transmission won't shift is in fail safe mode so what I'm going to do is try to repair this on the outside um, what I did was I took a, a drill I don't know if you could see that, but I, I drilled around this pin. I'll show you what I mean. Took a little drill by hand, and what I did was I went all the way around here, drilled out the plastic around here, around here, exposing the side of this. You know, clean it off really good. And then I drilled a hole probably can see the hole through here and what I'm going to do I have this wire here um, I'm going to stick this wire through the hole like this stick it through the hole and bring this out and I'm going to put a, a male connector on here and then I'm going to cut the wire that goes to this pin and put a female connector on that and connect it on the outside of the transmission so this will still be able to plug in and then I'll connect the regular wire both wires together on the outside so this can still work um, but what I have to do I put a loop in here I have to put this in and press this down over there and it has to go deep enough because I gouged it out with the uh, with the drill bit but it has to go deep enough deep enough inside here to where when the connector go in it doesn't interfere which is why I went all the way around and cut down a channel in there Let's see. This has to be pushed in. May have to take some wire out. But I'm pushing this down in here. Like that. All the way down, down in there. Okay, now it's in there. So when the connector goes in, it doesn't keep the connector back. Then I'm going to solder this, this wire right onto the pin here. And then I'm going to bring this out the back end. So the hole is here, coming out of the side. And I'm going to take this hole and put some glue here, make some seal all, and seal that hole. And connect this on the outside of the harness. We're going to see if this is going to work. I'll show you uh, how I'll do this. I'm gonna solder this right now. Now, here is the part here. I'm gonna take some flux and put on there.
what I'm doing since this computer has to be reflashed not reflash but if you put a new one in here you have to reflash it or program it I'm saving him a thousand dollars if this works do you all think it's gonna work we will see won't we we are going to see if this is going to work First thing I'm doing, melting this solder around here. I mean, excuse me, the flux around there. Okay. Like it's hot there. But I gotta get this out the way because it can't protrude. There you go. That's what I want to see. I want to see it melt like that. I'll let it sit a bit. Let's see what it does. Okay, so now this is in here and it's below and it's tight. So it's it's soldered on actually onto the pin that was broken. Now, you see there's still one, two, three, four pins there. When I put the connector in, they're going to go in, lock in, and then the wire that was broken, I'm going to put a connector on this end and then connect it to the transmission wire harness. You will see how I'll do that. It seems like it's okay now. This hole here, I'm going to seal up with some seal oil. Put it in there so that moisture can't get inside. Or I can, you can use a hot melt glue. I probably use some hot melt glue, but I have to clean this real good uh, so that it provide a seal. You don't want any oil on that. Okay. Connectors on. I'll show you what type of connector I'll put on. Mm. 
connector I'll put on is something like this. Okay. So I'll put this in here. And then on the other end of the transmission. I'll cut it and put the female or the male version where you can slide it inside. That will make this terminal active. It will make this terminal right here active. Okay? See how it works.